Welcome to the journey of love and light. Libra, this is your 2023 love reading. If this reading resonates with you, please be sure and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If it doesn't resonate, leave what doesn't resonate behind and you can always check my link tree down in the description box to schedule a private reading. I also want to let you know that at the end of this reading, I'm going to pull a special bonus card from the Crazy Sexy Love Notes from a message from your spirit about um, your love situation and how you need to um, uh, handle the, you know, these situations coming in 2023. <clears throat> and um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this Libra. And um, the month of January 2023 says, Star Ancestors says, Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom, Look a Little Deeper. So what I'm sensing is that perhaps coming into um, 2023, I'm um, since this is first single um, uh, Libra, is that you have been looking for love. Like, you know, and I'm, I'm hearing like looking for love in all the wrong places. Like, um spirit is saying that the love that you are going to find is going to be um on a much higher um frequency so like maybe you're um spending you know like looking for people in clubs or looking for people maybe even in your work environment or looking for people um you know uh, that are like related to your friends but what i'm seeing here is that spirit is going to um, bring somebody forth like that, you know, somebody that you've never um, even imagined before um, into your into your energy. Um, but it's going to require that you, like I said, that you take yourself out of those um, low vi vibrational frequency places that you're looking for love at um, now. And the uh, card for February says true love um, says that this is the romance of a lifetime. And what I sense is, is that um, you know, that love that I'm talking about that spirit's bringing to you is going to ultimately be that true love. And it's, you know, it is going to, you know, turn into just something that is, it is your romance of a lifetime. And it's what you have always been dreaming of in terms of, um, you know, a, a here, let me put this up here in terms of a, um, you know, a relationship with someone, um, there, it's going to seem like that, you know, um, the angels brought you together is how you're going to feel about that situation. Um, the five of swords in the month of March, um, says that, you know, you're going to have to walk away from people's opinions. Like there's going to be people who have, um, you know, negative things to say about, um, your situation as it relates to, you know, your love life or, or the person that you, you're, um, romantically interested in. But Spirit says that just, you know, take away what you, you know, uh, can from, you know, their advice, but ultimately just, you know, don't let, you know, their, their negativity, uh, affect your ability to, um, you know, see clearly, uh, about your relationship because, um, in the month of April, we have, the great uh, severing card and this talks about um, Mars energy is anger conflict and softening to love so it's kind of like um, you know when you when you um, you know sever ties with people who are just negative or you're just don't let those negative uh, things affect you um, you know all of that anger and resentment that you know happens as a, as a result of those kinds of bickering um, it's going to ultimately you know um, uh, uh, dissipate and then that's going to allow you to truly um, focus on love and, you know, what love means to you personally, Libra. So um, in the month of May, we have this whole new love and it talks about that um, that this person has truly stirred your romantic feelings, that they, you know, have really made you, um, you know, in tune with this whole idea of, you know, the romance of a lifetime and, you know, how they are, um, you know, showing up in your relationship as, you know, kind of like almost like your knight in shining armor or your princess, you know, if it's, a you know, if you're masculine energy um, and, you know, you're going to really be feeling very good about this person. But it's, but like I said, it's going to require that you, um, you know, cut ties with people who are negative and or just cut ties with your own negativity. Like if you have negative thoughts in your head about what's possible for you that you can or cannot have that kind of a relationship. Spirit is saying that, yes, you can. And it's coming, Libra. 
because the next card out, the Two of Cups, further confirms this love, you know, uh, reciprocation, this love relationship, this partnership uh, in the month uh, month of June, you know, and, um, you know, I, June's always good for weddings too, so, um, you know, I don't know that I would even make that not a possibility, because I think that you're just going to be so... Um, surprised at how much how how much you are in love with this person and you're it's like almost like you don't want to wait another day to spend the rest of your life with them is what i'm hearing and so then in the month of september we have the we the hathors it says deep love mother's milk uh, birth as a portal so it could be that even you know that this deep love that you have uh, found in this uh, person uh, by september you're either considering having children or you might even um, become pregnant um, in that month so be careful if that's not your desire because that energy is there um, and um, in the month of um what did I say? What did I say that it was? July. So that was in July. So in July, it could get hot and heated. Um, and uh, for that month, you know, if you don't want to get pregnant, um, then make sure that you're doing everything you can to to move away from that. But this romance is this love. You know, this new love and this true love is so deep now that you know you're considering um, a forever. Um, you know, with this person, um, and. It's telling you to keep an open mind because I think that there may be part of this relationship just because like it's so different and it's so over the top and you know the person is just so everything that you ask for that you almost but at the same time they are so different in terms of like maybe religion culture age something like that um, that you are hesitant about um, you know really finally just you know pouring it all in and um you know I, I think that um this card in um the ten of swords in um the uh september time frame says that you finally just have to put it all behind you just um you know stop trying to fight it is what i'm hearing like so um you just have to like let go all of, of all your fears let go of all of your negative self thoughts let go of everything that's holding you back from allowing you know this relationship that you are building with this person to flourish because in the month of october we have the card trust the timing and it says trust the wave you came in on time is not running out so it, it may be that um you know you are you know feeling like you know well um it, things are not moving as fast as you would like or maybe that things i feel like that you're going to feel like things are moving too fast but what spirit is saying is that things are moving according to plan like however fast or slow that things are progressing in your love life uh that's exactly how they should be and that you don't need to worry about like if you're worried about having a child like you're you're maybe going to try to rush having a child because you think that your childbearing years are coming you know close to an end or something you know it's telling you don't rush to have a child you know either that just trust the timing for all of this and that um you know time is not running out um and you know this aurora borealis back here you know is you know, came to came, came to my attention and it's like um you know there's things happening um in the ethers that you're just not going to even be aware of yet even at the end of um 2023 libra for your love life but the um, card in um, November, the forgiving and learning card, um, it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So again, it's like, um, I feel like that you're, you're growing, like you're trying to grow through this whole, you know, anytime you're in a relationship, relationships are not easy. And there's like the back and forth and the up and downs and the differences of um, opinion and perspective and culture, all of that. And so I just feel like that you're going to continue um, really growing yourself um, so that your relationship continues to strengthen um, towards the end of 2023, Libra. And ultimately... I am seeing and I'm sensing this really as 
um, th this is a Knight of Cups, but this talks about a, you know, a love offer coming in at the end of the year. And what I think that this truly is, it's not a love offer because the love has already been offered. You've already been in this situation related to this love, um, you know, throughout the year of 2023. But I think that this might actually be an offer of, you know, let's go to the next level. Let's get engaged. Let's get, let's move in together. Let's, um, you know, get married. Let's, let's, let's remarry if this was all somebody, you know, that you already been with or, you know, uh, or even a soulmate. So, um, Libra, let's go ahead and pull your card from the crazy, sexy love notes to, um, figure out what it is the spirit wants you to know as you are, you know, embarking on this love journey, um, in 2023. And it looks like it's going to be quite a journey, man. I, I felt, felt a lot of excitement in that, that love situation. <clears throat> so the card that comes out, it says gossip dims your glow. And so it says here. Speaking poorly about others tarnishes your energy and your reputation. So avoid bonding over complaints and feeling superior. Human beings weren't designed to be perfect, and this includes you. Instead, raise your vibration by engaging in positive communication. Celebrate what does work and who is awesome. The more you do this, the more radiant you will become. So, you know, maybe it's that, um, you know, part of this whole, um, you know, arguments and conflict and everything that's happening here, you know, as you kind of come into the new year, you know, spirit's just saying, you know, don't get wrapped up in that, you know, it will make your journey so much smoother and so much easier and you will get to this, you know, softening to love place so much more quickly when you don't judge others and when you don't, um, you know, gossip up for others. So what I would say is, you know, be sure that you are, um, um, you know, speaking up for the person that's not there is what I would say to you, Libra. So I hope this uh, was um, helpful for you. And if it was, like I said, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel on your way out. I wish you nothing but the best on your journey of love and light. Peace and blessings.